Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you every time I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. What am I bringing to you today? Today I am bringing to you a Dollar Tree Spring DIY that I feel has a real farmhouse feel to it. A lot of the spring decor that the Dollar Tree has this year is I feel like very rustic on the farmhouse side. It's got a lot of burlap, that weathered wood look going on and I am loving it. And so I picked up some of these items and I thought that it would make for an adorable spring decor piece for your table. And so that's what I'm bringing to you today. So let's jump into it and let me show you what I have in mind for my rustic farmhouse spring decor using the items that you can get at the Dollar Tree right now. For this DIY from the Dollar Tree, I picked up two of the set of four wall decor plaques, two of the stinking adorable farmhouse bunnies, two packs of moss sheets, a small piece of floral foam. I had a piece on hand already in my stash. And I also picked up five bunches of these cream or white petunias. I'm gonna start this DIY off by disassembling this wall decor. This is the set of four and I got two sets of this. This is kind of a chipboard, I'd say, not quite a cardboard. It disassembles pretty easily just by pulling on the ribbon. It comes apart without really damaging the square pieces. I took the glue off. You don't really have to because it's not gonna show. I'll be using five of the eight pieces for this and I'm gonna hot glue them together to make a planter. I tried looking for a square decorative box to use instead. I found every other shape other than square, so if you can find a decorative box, perfect, I'd use that instead. You'd be saving yourself a couple steps. If you can't find one, this is a great alternative. For this next step, I'll be using Waverly's chalk paint in the color of ivory. If you have an apple barrel acrylic paint, That'll work just as well. I'm just using what I have on hand. And I'm gonna give this planter box a good coat and that's just because I wanna cover up the floral design that's on it. I'm not looking for perfection when painting it. I'm just looking to color up the bright floral colors. This here was with one coat. So I ended up putting a second coat to really make sure it was good and covered. Now using the moss sheets that I picked up from the Dollar Tree, I'm gonna cover the outside of my planter box with the moss. You can see that you can see through the moss and so that was the purpose behind me painting my planter. If you've got green paint, you can use green paint. I personally just didn't have any green paint on hand so I used what I had on hand really doesn't matter. The idea is just that we didn't want the floral design to show through the moss and it would have. Now because I was trying to keep the cost of this DIY down as much as possible and I didn't want to use any more than two of my moss sheets because these are like gold to me. I have trouble finding them at my Dollar Tree. There is a degree of patchwork that I did in order to cover the outside of this box. I really didn't mind doing it. At the end of the day, you couldn't tell that it was patched at all. And it's a win-win because there was no waste. For the farmhouse bunny and carrots, I disassembled these as well. I'm gonna hot glue them to the outside of the planter. And you'll see that as I'm hot gluing them, why I use the moss, because the head and the carrots don't completely cover the planter itself. And on the sides that I'm putting the carrots, I thought it was really cute to have the moss because it kind of gave the illusion of carrots and grass. For this centerpiece, I went with the petunias because I like the color, it goes with my house. I hot glued a piece of floral foam that I had on hand already to the bottom just to kind of keep these in place and keep them from falling out. And there you have it. This farmhouse spring table centerpiece I think was pretty easy to do and what a fun way to add just a touch of farmhouse to your spring decor this year. I thought that this 
was such a fun, different way to use these spring wall decor pieces that the Dollar Tree has. And really, it's easy to do, it's budget friendly, and the outcome is so stinking cute. I hope you all enjoyed today's farmhouse spring Easter DIY. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes because those thumbs up, they really do help my channel to grow. And like I always say, it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody.